All right, people. I think I got it, man. I think I freaking got it. I'm just waiting for people to get in, man. All right, uh, people. I think I... I'm just waiting for people to get in, man. All right, uh, people. I think I... Oh, wait, that might be annoying. All right, I got to fix that. Sorry about that. We're, we're learning the bugs here, man. All right, 94 GT. I think I got it. I wanted your names to come up on here, though, man. I wanted names here. Here. I don't know. All right, so we're going to look at a couple few. Hey, what's going on, guys? I saw there was like 33 people on, and it was all messed up, guys. But um, I think I got it. And I hopefully, actually, it was one of you guys again that came through and kind of told me what to do and much appreciated. I think this is a much better way to kind of do these. On my phone, it gets real shady and stuff, so... Um, at least we can kind of see the whole screen here and everything might be a little bit of a delay, but, um, I think all in all, it's pretty good. And I think on your end, you're seeing obviously just like a normal chat, I would think, but, um, this did go out. I don't know if, um, people, I don't know how, if this works kind of like, uh, you know, uh, when you post a video, you got to wait a little bit for people to to get on. But um, ninety four, uh, say something on here, bud. You got anything? Just just say uh, or, or Federer. Just comment. I want to make sure that they're coming through. But anyway, we're gonna. This is a little learning. Uh, Hey guys, hey boy, all right, Jay and the Leggy One are on. All right, so I think it's working. All right, so anyway, guys, this was one of the tools. Um, we did the live video at Milwaukee's NPS 2018. Um, I see no chat on your monitor. Yeah, there's no chat on my monitor, bud. I don't know what's up with that. But I think you guys can see each other chatting, right? Like you guys, like you, on your end, you're just saying like I would be doing a, a normal live video. I, I hope. Oh, thank you, William Harmon. Much appreciated. That means a lot to me, man. I try my best, man. I really do. I do see the Acme Tools website and your cursor moving. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to get that up, man. I guess uh, if anyone knows how to do that. I mean, I would really like that. Because what I'm actually doing now is I'm on my phone and I'm seeing all your comments. But continue to comment. Like I said, as long as you can see each other comments and you guys can converse. And, and I see your comments, even though they're not on my screen, I can still see them. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm on my phone. Might be a little bit of a delay, but I definitely got you. But I wanted to do it on here, not only to try, but I think it looks a lot better than on my phone now if i can't get you up on the screen we might still have to continue to use that app i'm not a big fan of it but you know we got to do what we got to do william Harmon, you cost me a lot of money well i got the link below hopefully the link is in here we're going to go through a tool every day we're going to talk about it my thoughts on it um you know availability again some specs and it'll be something that, you know, I think by seeing the tool, I can kind of give you a somewhat good opinion on it. Now, like I said, I want to start with the circular saw. I think we'll do the chainsaw next. And then I want to start doing the, the new drills and hammer drills. Um, now, they are offering a hammer drill and a drill driver. Both have 1,200 inch pounds of torque. One is $20 more. And obviously has the hammer capabilities to it. But spec-wise, power-wise, they're virtually the same. And they're pretty low-priced. Now, 
I wanted to bring this one up first for one reason, because I think this is a great saw. All right. Um, but that being said, and it's not that it's a problem, but I think this is the one tool right here, guys, that this 12 amp hour battery is really not a great fit for. Um, again, a circular saw is a tool that, you know, obviously you can work it in many different ways and you're not really, you know, lifting it up like you would a drill or a hammer drill or an impact driver, but you, you're still kind of moving it around and stuff. And I don't know, like I said, these batteries, which I was able to obviously play with for a little bit, it's not that they're much bigger than the nine amp hour battery, but there is a weight difference. Um, they're a little bit over three pounds. Okay. So, you know, the, the wall, uh, flex vault circular saw, which is absolutely a monster. And if you saw my footage from the MPS 18, you saw this saw right here, an 18 volt, not a 60 volt pretty much crushed that flex vault and then last year we saw videos of the uh, dewalt crushing a corded uh circular saw and the old milwaukee fuel um circular saw so you know what dewalt and milwaukee do and obviously to some extent uh makita and bosch is all right let them come out with theirs first obviously there's here's the flex vault. We got it. All right, right here, man. We're we're gonna rock with it. Um, and as soon as it comes out, and everyone has you know their month love affair with it, Milwaukee is working on. All right, these are the specs. This is the speed. Engineers, let's go at it. Let's crush this. And what's funny? In two or three years, the Walt will come out with a new one and crush this one. Um, that's pretty much what it's all about these days. A lot about. Hey, TJ, what's up, man? EJM. Oh, I tell you, EJM, I saw a cute little picture. Handsome little devil, that that demon. Yeah. Oh, he's, I'm going to start calling him Cupcake. Yeah, he's cute. And beautiful. I don't, I don't want to get too into you. All right. TJ's workshop. On oh, what's going on with you, man, TJ? One, uh, I don't know, TJ. Hope you're doing all right. But so anyway, this is one of those tools and it really depends on how you use it. But out of all the new tools or uh, all these new combo kits that are coming out with these, uh, you know, corded like power. And obviously to get that corded like power, you've got to, you know, use this 12 amp hour battery. Milwaukee cupcake. Okay. <laughs> Opponents, yeah, they all do it, uh, TJ. Uh, no doubt, they're all gonna do it. It's, you know, this is the way. Uh, this is the life of being in the tool trade, the tool business, selling tools, man. Um, it's 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 crazy. But all right, so like I said, out of all of them, this is one of my. And if I come, hey, Philip, what's up, bud? I'm here. Okay, I'm sorry, man. I know I was, I'm really trying to get this going. Um, hopefully, I can eventually get your names up here, and I don't know. But anyway, so three ninety nine for this kit, which is really not that bad, guys. You know, the old kit was two forty nine with a uh, nine amp hour battery. This is coming with a twelve. Now, the uh, twelve amp hour battery alone. All right, is going to retail for $199. All right. So $199 for the uh high output HD 12.0, okay? 200 bucks. Charger, what, 50 bucks. You know, you're at 250 right there. So you're really only paying $150 for the bag and circular saw. Now, as you guys know, you know we're 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 looking at it right now, guys. I just posted a picture. Hey, what's up, Logan P? I just posted a little picture on Instagram of one of my uh, followers on uh, Instagram. 
I just posted it. He got the M12 Gen 2 hammer drill, impact driver, 4 amp hour battery, 2 amp hour battery, and the free 6 amp hour battery, 199. So if this is a tool that you really, really want, okay, go get it, 399. Don't really worry about the price because, like I said, in a lot of these videos about that specific deal is a lot of people bought it for 229 with no six amp hour battery um home depot with a lot of people you bring your receipt in they take a credit um you know they'll give you a tell you to take a six amp hour battery or they might have you return the whole thing and just all right here's the other one it's just easier but it's fairly a simple process um not sure how Acme Tools will deal with something like that. But my point is, if you don't need it, or my point is, if you need it, get it. But if you want it, you might want to hold off for a little while. Because these kits, eventually, there'll be some kind of deal on it. Uh, especially here at Acme Tools. They do like 20% off your entire order at certain times. Carlos de la Cruz. Hey, what's up, Jose Mora? KC, KSC 21, do you have any coverage on the Milwaukee tool chest? I do. Um, I got a lot of stuff. I'm trying to kind of edit it down. I just put a video up of the pack out stuff. I don't have much on it. It's, to be honest with you, uh, KCS 321, it's really not much different than the uh, old one. There's a digital... Um, key pin you know uh, a number dash where you can you know put a pin code in to uh secure it or to lock it that was the big addition to it um which is pretty cool you can just you know type in a three number pin and lock it up to open it back up you put that pin in boom so that was cool but size wise it is i believe it's a little bit bigger than the uh 46 inch but not much. Beautiful tool chest. Uh, I do have footage on it, but, you know, it's fairly similar. But the uh, I like, obviously, the way that you can have that pin code to open it. Tony Powell, my brother. Hey, Mari G. What's up, man? Or Chick. I'm sorry, Mari. I apologize, but I would... I don't want to Duke and I, Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, there, uh, there will be a uh, one key. Um, some of the tools they're they're already, you know, announcing that it's going to be available in one key. Um, um, my honest opinion, guys, is pretty much every tool is going to have the option, and I think really soon, guys, you're not even going to have the option anymore. You know, they're going to put the one key right into the tool if you like it or not. Um, you know, and that's why I really like the Tool Connect um, system. With Not that, I, I, that I, I love it over to Milwaukee, but even like the Rigid. Now, if Rigid with that Bluetooth battery can kind of keep data on not only the battery, but on the tool that it's in. But that tool connect, you know, I was looking maybe to see something with these batteries, these Milwaukee batteries, because they do have some capabilities in them. They still really haven't announced what's going on inside of them. Um, I don't know if they're, that's just something they're still working on or to get it down perfect. Not really sure. But, um, yeah, that's what's cool about the tool connect. But, honestly, my opinion is, probably in the next two or three years, you're going to see everything. You know, the uh, new brand new table saw, guys, it's only available in one key. So, you know, you really got no choice, but it's a great thing. A lot of people just kind of get scared. They don't really want to download the app and, you know, might, they don't really need to know certain stuff. But I'm telling you, once you use it or once you have a one key tool, just to have that, and have the information, and if God forbid it does get lost or stolen, I mean, you're able to literally kill the entire tool. It's really awesome. Angel Cologne, what's going on? Shaka Gillis, I'm back and coherent. 
Yeah, it was such a great time, man. Ariel, what's up, man? Ariel Tunkle, my brother. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Oh, Michael Duckmanian. Oh, Manuel, thanks, buddy. Manuel Pasquale, thank you so much, brother. Dan C. All right, so uh, this is a seriously power tool. Like I said, I'm sure, or if you didn't see it from my video, you've seen it from a couple other people. This thing is a monster. I mean, it crushed a corded um, circular saw. Literally just destroyed it. Um, they didn't say what brand it was or, you know, how old it was. I know a lot of people kind of get weird or not that it's weird. It's really something, you know, I, I, they they color them and they, they paint over them. You can kind of make out what they are, obviously, but you really don't know, you know, 100% if they messed with them. I don't think they do that. I mean, in, in the long run, it doesn't help anybody. I don't think DeWalt does it. I don't think Makita does it. I don't think uh, Milwaukee does it, obviously. But the way that it kind of beat that flex vault was really um, kind of shocking. I figured it would win, or they wouldn't, you know, obviously show a demonstration of it. But, um, hey, Chris Gray, what's up? CT Designs, Charlie Thompson. Can you lock the tools with one key? Oh, yeah, absolutely you can lock them, EJM. If you're talking, yeah, like if somebody steals your one key impact driver and you're trying to locate it, you can't really find it, you kind of have suspicion that just someone stole it, you can literally shut it down from your phone and it'll pretty much be useless for the guy who took it. So it kind of, you know, doesn't make sense for them to take it. So once they see one key on the, like the tool, you know, they can maybe think, ah, this guy doesn't care or... They still might take it, but, you know. Oh, thank you, Angel. Yeah, and the Tool Connect has similar. I, I still got to do a video on, on the Tool Connect. I mean, there's just so many videos that have to get, get done. And obviously, you can't really do them in the winter. And in the summer, you know, I, there's so much stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on. Starlight, what's up? GB, thanks for the heads up. I got my M12 hammer drill. Oh, awesome, GB. Yeah, that was a that was a killer deal. All right, so like I said, seven and a quarter inch. I really don't think you're going to see these six and a halfs anymore. Uh, generates fifteen amp corded saw power. Cuts faster than a fifteen amp corded saw and gives up to seven hundred and fifty cuts per charge. You know that's the big deal with this battery. You know not only the power, but we saw it with the chainsaw being able to cut a cord okay being able to cut 25 telephone poles with one battery now the th the, the other thing you got to think about is you know it's not all roses on, on the other side these are great batteries but now you're getting into all right if i need two of them you know we all have these five amp hour batteries they're all over the place they give them out i'm sure you me we got six seven of them but now to kind of get that crazy runtime and this 15 amp power, you know, I'm honest here. I'm not going to come up here and say this is the greatest thing. And it, uh, with time, eventually, it's going to be. But you really have to build your 12 amp hour battery quantity up to really, because like I said, the, my my big thing with the ego stuff. Yeah, chainsaw was killer, Dan. Um, it's you know, people ask me, it looks really big. Yeah, it's big. Um, you know, it's a 16 inch. Um, it's not any bigger than any other chainsaw. Um, it's it's really light, but you know, these things not you don't have to worry about, you know, mix, two cycle mix and pulling on the cord. And you know, they compare it to a 40 cc. We're gonna do that one tomorrow, maybe. But um, you know, with these tools, um, you know, now, not really with this one, because you're getting 750 cuts, okay? So, with, with this one, but I wanted to kind of bring that up, because with the chainsaw, you know, it's awesome to have that power, and it does do, you know, like I said, it, it's a very impressive battery, but they're expensive now. Now, you know, if you really kind of need another one, it's going to cost you 200 bucks. So, like, that was my big thing with the Ego. You know, their outdoor power stuff, awesome stuff, really great stuff. But, 
And obviously you can build your, you know, system up, you know, when they have these deals and stuff to kind of get extra batteries. But um, with some of these tools, you really need two batteries, um, you know, uh, maybe three with the chainsaw. And that means that's if you're cutting like all day, you're using these saws. Um, not so much, again, with the circular saw, but even with the table saw. Um, and we're going to go over that one in a couple of days too. But it's something to be aware of that these batteries now are kind of getting a little expensive. In the next five years, tools, yeah. Uh, Philip, it's nuts, man. Hercules beats the wall. Federer, two thousand one. Gaston, what will the new batteries do to the Gen One tools? Any increased power? Yeah, um, definitely. Um, you know, it's all in the batteries, um, Angel. That's really what's generating now. Obviously, just like the rigid octane. I mean, you're going to see explosive power from putting a twelve amp hour battery on your you know, let's say the Milwaukee shop vac. You know, it might sound a little louder. You might get a little bit more suction. But with that, you're just going to get the, the runtime is just going to be absolutely insane. I mean, you hear me talk about how it, the 9 amp hour battery changed some of these tools. I mean, you know, these run times with the 9 amp hour battery, you know, we talk about maybe the... um the uh, new blower, Gen 2 blower, which is awesome. I mean, now you can slap a 12 amp hour battery on it, but again, you're adding, you know, another pound, maybe three quarters of a pound. On it. It's, you know, it's not that light. And again, you know, with me, with my, with my string trimmer, man, I use that five amp hour battery all the time. I absolutely love it. Um, but it's um, something really. It's it's a kind of a game changer uh, to a degree, but all right. Let me just see what's going on in the chat here. I wonder if the twelve will increase performance. I I think the tool really has to be set up for it. I mean, you know, we're talking here with the fifteen amp like power. All right, you're not going to get fifteen amp power putting it up to the miter saw because it's not built to handle that kind of stuff. You're going to mainly see runtime on the Gen 1 stuff. But I also think you're going to see a little bit of performance improvements, but very minuscule, probably 5% to 10%, and depends on what the tool. You know, you got to remember, with all these new tools, the, the, the motors have been shrunk down. Uh, impact driver, hammer drill, um, you know, drill driver, but 30% more copper. Um, so like I said, it's, they're making headways. That's how they're getting these tools to be so good. I mean, guys, I cannot tell you how small that new impact driver is. It's smaller than your 12 volt that you just got. It's literally insane, but I want to go over some of these specs. Now, listen, what's good about it too. You know, I kind of brought up the battery and, and that's if you need that kind of power, but these new tools also, we'll work with your 9 amp hour battery, your 2 amp hour battery, your 5. Uh, you're not going to get as much power out of them, okay? But, you know, they're still going to work. So it, it ain't like you can just use the 12 amp hour battery. A lot of people, right, uh, a couple of people asked about that, and it's kind of a good question. Um. You know, because nobody really talked about it or mentioned it. I'm just trying to. Hey, kitty. And I apologize. Um, this video is not very good. It's my first one kind of doing it with this. So I really do apologize. Please give me a... Uh, you know, give me a pass uh, on this video. I'm, I, I'm, I promise they'll get better in this format. My bat, my phone is dying here, so I'm charging it here. 
it's so good to have this thing working again. And again, I thank Tools in Action for fixing this, getting that awesome chick from Milwaukee to get me a new cord. Awesome. All right, um, I think I'm ready to go here. Mike Rutan, what's up? Oh, thank you, 94. Yeah, so we're going to be doing something, too. I know we canceled last week, actually, the last two weeks. Um, my man, Sean Perry Benjamin, um, he's going to run. He, he wanted to wait till the new tool promotions came out um, to do something. But we're going to have some ticks for you guys. I don't know how many he's going to be able to give me. Hopefully, at least three or four. I mean, I might even buy one to, to give it away to you. And I really want to give you moderators something for taking the time and coming in here every video and just being there and, and moderating. Yo to Doug, what's up, Jay? Yes, I am using a Chromebook. All right, thank you. All right, so let's go over some of these uh, specs on this. All right, so you're getting five thousand eight hundred rpm and higher speeds under load for corded like cutting performance obviously the red link plus again 750 cuts with a 12 amp hour battery i mean really that should get you through i mean 750 cuts um now obviously that's probably a two by four um yeah i mean a lot of people use mostly that's probably the main thing that they but you know you're also cutting plywood and, and stuff like that and, you know, that's going to obviously be depending on what you're cutting. But, um, you know, magnesium guards and shoe delivers extreme durability for job site conditions. A built-in rafter hook. Uh, a lot of people were so happy about the rafter hook. Um, and they're really happy that it's on the recip saw now. Um, so, yeah, those hooks are great, man. Especially when you're just constantly using the tool. You don't have to put it on the ground. You don't have to, you know, put it somewhere. You can just click it on to your belt. Electric blade stops the blade quickly after cuts are complete from accident productivity. All right, so brushless motor built with the M18 fuel generates power 15. So, again, you're going to get really amazing performance here, guys. Chris Gray for the Milwaukee Inflator, the 2.0 amp of the battery, even last enough. Yes, Chris Gray, it'll work fine. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i have a video on that too this week. Yeah, you're not using that much, you know, it's not that much battery drain from, you know, air. You'll definitely be able to, you know, they wouldn't sell it if it, you know, I, I don't think that, you know. All right, yeah, we're going to put a kit together. But you're only going to get 10 minutes or five minutes. Uh, actually, you can only do two tires on your on your car, you know. So now if they're completely down to the bone, I mean, I don't know. So that's why we're going to test it and stuff. But I think you'll be fine with a two amp hour battery, Chris. Angel, the rapid station charges 318. Yep, or three at the same time. Very good point. I was hoping, Angel, that they would come out with a six bay rapid charger. See, the one that's out now is a sequential charger. It charges really, you know, it charges like the old one, which is pretty good, but it does one at a time, and and that it's it's fine for me. But you know, I would, you know, obviously the technology has changed so much. I would love to have them all charging at the same time. Uh, they obviously they do have one, but it has three eighteen volt and three twelve volt. I like to have one just all six bays being eighteen volt. That would be kick ass. Yep. Okay. Good. Yeah. Scruffy Z janitor. Two amp, amp hour works fine. It does. I mean, I use the two amp hour on my Ryobi eighteen volt all the time, and it lasts. I mean, for months, man. I mean, obviously, I'm just topping off stuff, but. I mean, it'll it'll work, like man, months. So, I'm saving my pennies for the new M12 Impact L199 uh, EJM uh, or a Federer. I'm sorry, I uh, you got to get that deal, man. I mean, you're gonna get a two, a four, and a six. 
and of course the Gen 2 hammer drill and impact driver. I'm more excited about the free six and the $30 price cut. Um, listen, if you have the Gen 1 impact driver, I wouldn't go running out and getting this and thinking that it's a life changing tool. You know what I'm saying? Is it better? Or does it have some more f functions? Obviously, you know, you got the, the uh, some exactly. You got a little the, the torque number for the hammer drill is pretty much the same. It's just more compact, a little bit more comfortable to use. But the impact, you'll definitely notice a power difference. Uh, and IPM, you'll notice a big difference. And it's smaller too. But, um, you know, you got the, the speeds and the self tap mode and all that. And I want to talk about the new uh, impact driver where it'll actually shed off. So you're driving in, you know, a screw into, you know, some sheet metal. You can have that trigger pressed. As soon as it, the fastener is sunk, it'll stop, right? It'll stop working. It'll stop spinning. It will start, stop driving that fastener in, even if you have the trigger pressed down. I mean, the, the tools are just getting so smart, guys. Yo, Doug, where is the 246, right? I had some. See, that's why I hate doing this because I'm it's I'm really doing two things. That's why I need to have you guys come up on this screen. Electric brake for stopping blade after trigger is released. Two inch of cutting depth. LED light. You got the magnesium shoe and guards for maximum durability. This will be available in July, by the way. And again, the battery is the big thing that's really given it now obviously there's intelligence in this red link plus uh for optimal performance and overload protection to prevent damage to the tool pretty much like the uh, gen one saw and that's a great saw i love the gen one some people again you know everyone's not going to be happy with, with with everything but I, as soon as you see that's why i kind of figured that we would see a, a new 12 volt impact uh wrench because they were just discounting them. I, I did a whole video on it. And again, I, I want to talk about them, but they're not even available. There's no, there's nothing on the stubby impact wrenches yet, guys. Um, I haven't checked Milwaukee's website, but most of this stuff is available for pre-order again in July. But the stubby impact wrenches, I didn't see anything on it, guys. All right, I'm in a little bit better place here now. Angel clone tool. Yeah, they're such so cool, man. Down to earth. Just awesome dudes, man. Cool feature on the impact makes it hard. Yeah. It's it is. I missed that deal. M12 promotion. Hey, low voltage, dude. I think it's it is it over? I think it's still going on, man. I could be wrong, but like I said, I just put a picture up. Uh one of my followers on Instagram just got it today, or maybe yesterday. Unless he kind of got it mailed to him. Maybe he ordered a couple days ago. But I would really check that. The tick, Chuck Gillis, I will be getting the quarter-inch impact. Yeah, man. It's only $129, bare tool. So pretty much the same price as the old model, man. But this is available. There's a link below. Um, I think I want to go to Milwaukee's site just to see what's going on but the availability will be july again you can pre-order it um hopefully you guys can uh, see this here this might be the first one yeah the ticks are cool yeah they're just getting so into the technology, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. All right, so it is here. All right, like I said, so it kind of spreads out on what you're going to be getting here. There's already a review on it, which is pretty weird, but because you really can't get it yet. Uh, but two and a half inch cutting depth, like I said, weighing in only nine pounds with the 12 amp hour battery. Again, nine nine pounds for a circular saw. Out of all the tools, is what I was trying to stress in the beginning. I think out of all the tools, this is the one tool. Um, well, I got to make sure this is the right one here. I don't think this is actually. So I don't see the high demand battery. And I think it's called the 28. 
All right, I, I'll find it here. Hopefully, it'll come up. I'm sorry. It does. They all look the same. Milwaukee. What's the item number on it? You can see it. Two, two seven. I think it's two seven three two. No. Oh wait, here it is. Yeah. Yeah, two seven three two. I was right. Guys, am I still on? Can't believe these new batteries are two hundred. Yeah, they're expensive. Hey Toolbus, hope you're dead. Oh, thanks, Mark. Yeah, man, it's doing all right. I appreciate you coming in and watching. See, I'm on in the new site here. Can you guys see this? Oh, maybe you guys can't see where I'm on here. I don't know. Maybe you can only see the site that I was just on. I, I, do you are do you guys see me on Milwaukee site? No, right? Let me see. Oh, okay. That was just a delay, I guess. All right, cool. All right, yeah, so, again, um, yeah, 200, you know, it's something. And you only get one battery, obviously, with these kits. Um, but, you know, if you're going to buy, you know, maybe you got to get the circular saw. Time for a new circular saw. You might have had the Gen 1 really beat up. You kind of was thinking about maybe getting one. This came out, and you've been dead set on getting that table saw. Now you got two 12-amp-hour batteries. You probably got a 9 um you know you can kind of have some fun with them so you get two of these kits but again it, it's it's why i stress do not buy these batteries bare tool don't spend two hundred dollars it just doesn't make sense i think the the uh the cheapest kit with the 12 amp hour battery might be 299 so again whatever tool that is i can't remember which one it is i mean you're really only paying a hundred dollars for a charger and the actual tool. Is the table so yeah, that's the one thing, Jay. Good point, Jay. Um a lot of people were kinda and I I'm not happy about that. I believe you cannot plug in the table saw. Um yeah, a lot of the new lights you were able to to plug in and um which is great because, you know, you do burn through um, the lights at a fairly quick pace. But um, I'm actually, I, I just flipped over. I hope you can see this too. But as far as I know, you cannot, um, you know, plug this into an outlet and have the tool run. It's pretty much battery only. Now. I honestly think there will be, now I don't know if it's going to be at next year's NPS, but I I think that's going to be the big kind of complaint with this. But again, every, there's so many batteries. But again, to get this tool really working the way it's supposed to, you really need that 12 amp hour battery, especially in this tool. You know what I'm saying? I mean, with the chainsaw... If you could put the nine amp hour battery in and you're just cutting through, you know, some uh, some branches and some trees that might have fell down. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Um, I don't know if it'll be a big, you know, but right. Yes, Mark, I went to Gen 2. Oh, 94. If I need a hammer, Joe, go to 18 volt. Yeah, 94 has turned really into the Milwaukee stuff. I know 94 is a big Bosch 12 volt guy like I was or am still. I'm not giving up on Bosch yet. Um, I, I really think they make some some great stuff. But Federer just asking, boss, did they happen to say anything about making an AC adapter for the miter saw? Um, there was people talking about it, Rep Ryan. I don't, I, again, that's something that could just honestly pop up. And again, guys, everything that's coming out, 
whether it be in July or throughout the year, there's still going to be stuff coming up that wasn't at the event. Um, you're still going to see releases like, oh, whoa, what's going on with this? Now, or is it going to be big stuff? No, but like Ryan says, it might be something, an attachment for the miter saw. It might be, you know, something for the new backpack back. You know. Yeah. Think of getting the M12 Gen 2 set. You should get, I think I should get the drill driver or hammer drill. Uh, dude, I would get that. Mark Forward, get the hammer drill combo kit. The hammer drill impact driver combo kit's $199 with a free 6 amp hour battery. Mark, you got to get that one, brother. I mean, listen, it these are all priced. The drill drivers, I, I was really surprised that Milwaukee came out with a drill driver. Um, You know, the new Gen 2 or Gen 3. Some people want to say it's a Gen 3. I mean, you can. 94, I think I gave up on Bosch. Probably be selling my Bosch 12 volt. Yeah. Hey, listen, I get you. I mean, the best, one of the best impact drivers on the market, very mechanic, um, mechanics based 12 volt platform. But I mean, the amount of stuff that Milwaukee offers, it, it's really, really hard to compete with them. And it's really, you know, I know a lot of you guys thought it was boring, but really the transformation of the Milwaukee tool company was when TTI kind of bought them. I mean, they were just, throwing millions of dollars into this company just really transformed it you know a lot of you young a lot of you guys are kind of young and you don't know like milwaukee was really i mean kind of really far behind dewalt and makita and even bosch i mean they were probably in like fourth place man um 10 12 years ago um i mean now i mean it's absolutely crazy but, um, yeah, so that's the one bad thing. And I wouldn't say it's bad. I, I, I'm I, pretty sure they're going to come out with a, and, you know, they all do this, guys. I'm not, I'm not just bashing Milwaukee here when I say this. But, you know, and they might get mad at me for saying it, but, and it might not be true, but I don't know. But, you know, it's a, these companies are smart and they know, all right, you're going to buy this now. Okay, you're going to buy the eight and quarter inch table saw, one key kit. Great, great table saw. You're going to have it for two years. It's going to get a lot of wear and tear on it, work. And maybe two or three years from now, they're going to come out with an updated one with, right, where uh, you can use a, uh, an extension cord to power it without the, the battery. Now, you know, in that two to three year time period, they got you buying two of their table saws. Now, again, that's they that's my opinion, and it's based on nothing. And I don't think you could take that with a grain of salt. Let's just put it that way. Does Bosch even all yeah, Ryan, Jacob, they have a lot of brushless tools. They have a lot of brushless tools in their 12 volt platform. You know, I would still say Bosch is number two in their in the 12 volt size of their 12 volt platform. Um you know, I always tell people, but I really love those new Makitas too. Just having that slide pack, it really, you know, it makes the tools not as compact, but it really slims down that handle, you know, because obviously the, the battery doesn't have to be connected through the handle. Um, but Jamar, hey, boys, I've been, yeah, man, it was so much fun. I grew up in Brookfield, Milwaukee tool. Oh, yeah, man. They're just a great company. They're great in the community up there, uh, Milwaukee. Uh, the people there are just awesome. It's it's so many young people, guys. You can't believe it. I, I recognize a lot of people from last year, so a lot of people are still there. You're on the fuel circular kit, HD. You're on the fuel circular kit. I'm on the fuel circular kit. Right, let me go back to the uh, circular saw. Hopefully. Yeah, so just want to tell you guys it was just like going over it and just kind of telling you the absolute power of it. Again, it's nine pounds, I believe. 
Actually, I think it's probably more than that. I think I read that off of the uh, the other one. I would like to know the weight of this. Let's see specs. All right, 12 pounds, like I said. So it's, you know, it's three pounds heavier than the Gen 1 model. And it's really just, it's it's kind of the battery that is just, you know, again, uh, well, how I started this video is how I'm going to end with it is I think out of all the tools, this 12 amp hour battery, you're going to feel it weight wise. Really, this is really the only tool that it, it can kind of affect, not affect the performance or anything. I mean, 750 cuts, but, you know, circular saws, I mean, we all have the six and quarter, the first generation circular saws. You know, I'm talking into the phone right now, and I should be talking into the computer here. It's just, I hate doing it like this. I got to get you guys up on the screen here. But, you know, 12 pounds, you know, we, we all have those first generation. I mean, I have a Porter cable that honestly, I think weighs under five pounds. I mean, it's six and a quarter, nowhere near the power of this. Um, you know, even the, our, you know, my DeWalt six and a half inch circular saw. It's probably like six, seven pounds with a battery on it, you know. 12 pounds for a circle saw. What I'm basically saying is this something you're going to really have to get used to. Um, and here are some nice pictures of it that I'm putting up now. I mean, it's, it really is a beautiful, beautiful circular saw made with some really great components. Commercial grade, obviously, for the tradesmen. Um, I'm falling back on these comments. I apologize. Hey, Daniel, what's up? Nathaniel Bradder, how much was it? Bosh Milwaukee, the top two. Yeah, Logan, I would definitely agree with that. Yeah, Ryan, you kind of got in. You're probably a young dude. You know, 10 years ago, Bosch were really, really, 10, 12 years ago, were really dominating to a degree. Um, But they are coming out with new stuff. But they took such a long break that, you know, Milwaukee and DeWalt just have just exploded. And, you know, they're the first ones to come out with this 12-amp-hour battery. Um, and their batteries are fabulous. Uh, you know, you hear me say it all the time, you're only as good as your battery platform. And, and Bosch, that's, you know, Bosch has a real cult following also. Um, I, I talk about it with um, Makita a lot. But, you know, they all do. I mean, people are diehard Milwaukee guys. And, but, you know, the guys with the Bosch, you know, Bosch's are really, again, jigsaws. Uh, drills, the the trucks are great. Uh, you know, uh, SDS rotary, right? And they all have their niche, man. You know, I'm just reading uh, three eighths M12 stummy is gonna be chain. Oh, that was I, and you know, 94. I was as shocked as I was about the torque, I was expecting. All right, 250 for the half inch. And it looks so weird because it's this little itty bitty uh, impact wrench. You know, honestly, the size of the Bosch, old Bosch impact driver, or the new, I think it's honestly smaller. It's smaller lengthwise than the brand new Gen 2 impact driver. Obviously, it's a little bit wider, but to see a half inch anvil. It was like so, but it's so, it's awesome. It's so cute. It's like EJM. EJM is so cute, and you just want to, that's how it was. But I was expecting the half inch, 250. I'm like, all right, the three eights, man, that's awesome. It'll have, it'll have 200, I bet. It'll have 200 foot pounds. Man, that is freaking amazing. That's almost double the Gen 1. And when he said 250, it was Oh, uh, you almost have to go with the three eights, man. Yeah, I mean that's this is the one time that I'm recommending a three eights impact wrench over a half inch. Now, listen, uh, price wise, I don't know if there'll be any difference. I think with the quarter inch, you'll see a price difference. Obviously, you're only getting a hundred foot pounds, but a hundred foot pounds is a lot. I mean, you guys saw the little anvil on that. I mean, you're going to be able to take lug nuts off cars with that 100 pounds. A lot of them, like I said, they're set at 80 to 90. It's something, you know, it's really, you wouldn't really want to do. And the thing is, you're not really going to find sockets unless you put an adapter on it that can handle that. 
Demon's wifey, EJM Cupcake. Yeah, I'm going to start calling him Cupcake. He's so, he's handsome. He's handsome. Yeah, 250 is nuts. What's up, Demon's wifey? Great picture, man. That's a great picture. I was going to say, I don't want to, you know, sound like a, a very attractive couple. I heard 169 for this W. That's, it could be, man. Again, that is more. They didn't really, you know, you heard me ask about it. There's That's still, like, in a phase. I don't think you're going to see that till November. Uh, 94, if you know anything about it, um, he has a price on it at 169. Now, is that Bear Tool? I would think that would be Bear Tool. I think you're going to see the stubby impact wrenches going for 249. Uh, I think it'll come with a four and a two. That's my honest opinion. 249. I, I always get these prices right. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just, it's kind of common sense. Yeah, that was great, Demon's Wifey. Everybody's coming out now. It kind of took. It kind of took tools in action. All right, EJ, oh, Toolboss is on there. Even though, I mean, all you had to do was go to Supreme Services. But, um, yeah, so everyone, I, I saw, uh, you know, uh, what, 94 GT is on there now. And Alex making Milwaukee grinders. Yeah, those grinders, I mean, are sick, man. Yeah, Jamar77. Yeah, awesome, cool dude. You know, he asked me, it was like, hey, man, you know, that would be great. You know, would you? I'm like, yeah, man, go ahead. I'm like, what do you want me to do? I took a lot of pictures with guys on Instagram, too. And they're just so cool. They kind of, yeah, JR Rustic Design. Uh, I met Nate, Nate 8, with, uh, Nate, Nate's, um, I can't think of it. Built by, built by Nate. Cool dude. I mean, a lot of these guys, uh, like I said, first year, there was so many Instagram people there, guys. So many freaking Instagram people. It was mind-blowing. Um, I mean, yeah, if you guys, you know, get an Instagram channel, uh, it's really gearing away from YouTube. And uh, uh, I did meet Dorsum Reviews. Really cool dude. I really like his videos. He's a DIY guy. Um, real nice dude. I actually had dinner with him. He sat at uh, the table, uh, me and Tools in Action, uh, Dan. Um, yeah, nice dude. Um, you know, I don't want to get into too much of his thing, but just a real good dude. He does real good stuff. Everyone was so excited. They were, like, blown away. And this year's event, I think it was a little, it was a little bit more laid back than last year, obviously. But it could have been that that was just my first year there. But Kristen McCracken, I'm waiting one for the new jigsaws. Yeah, the, the new jigsaws are out. They didn't have, again, that was like the last station. And my phone was already gone. Um, I do have a little bit of footage for that. Yeah, no problem, Demon's Wifey. Did you have a good, oh, yeah, Plumber's, Plumber's Sal it was awesome, man. Um, I think Dan Rodriguez lives up. Listen, if you're up in the Milwaukee area next year, man, come on down, man. I mean, all of us are there because of you guys. I mean, I'll have a beer with you. My Delta was a pain to move around. Those Deltas are sick, man. I know people who have those Delta tables. So I think that's what you're talking about, Dan C. I mean, 20 years old. Still, I mean, even the old craftsman stuff. I mean, you, I have a video. I don't even know if I put it up. But one of my customers, I mow his lawn. I think I did a video live from his house. He's got this, like, 40-year-old craftsman. Just monster table saw. Mike Ruta. Ain't that cool, Mike? Mike? Mike likes that, too. He did look like he just got a root canal done. You know, the, the wife saw their pretty, smiling beautiful young lady and cupcakes looking good but he's like man he's like oh man i can't believe my wife is doing this if she posts this picture i'm gonna kill her it's either that or he just had major teeth work done possibly a root canal i don't know where they were coming from in the picture 
Check it out. Check out Wifey, Demon's Wifey, if you want to take a look at that. But really, that's it, guys. So um, you're going to see videos up daily um, with other footage from the uh, symposium. Uh, like I said, I just put one up with the pack out. We're going to kind of do these videos. I I don't like the way it's going right now because, you can't, honestly, you guys have just been staring at, like, this screen here. The problem is I have to look at my phone. So, but let's just look over some specs before we leave. Again, obviously, it's at 18 volt. And that's the thing, guys. you got to really take into, into fact here. Take into uh, your brain and let it turn in there. Is that you know Milwaukee is accomplishing all this with the 18 volt battery? They're running a table saw. I just never thought it could be done. You know, we we saw what an 18 volt chainsaw could do. Now, if you have the Dewalt 12 inch chainsaw, listen, it's small, it's compact, it's fine, but power wise, it's really challenged. So to think that Milwaukee could come out with a full 16 inch, not a not a tw a full sized chainsaw. I mean, obviously there's 18 and 20 inch chainsaws also, but 16. And again, you know, the new Makita that's out, Makita just came out with a 16. It's basically the 14. But and the same thing with this chainsaw. This new chainsaw, the 16 inch, you could take the 16 inch bar off, put a 14 on. All it's going to do is make it stronger and more powerful. Uh, you might not be able to cut through. I mean, if you have a certain size that you're really working with on a consistent basis, and you really don't need a 16-inch, bring it down to a 14. I'm sure you can go down to a 12. I probably wouldn't recommend going down that much, but I would, you know, usually a 14 and 16, not a big deal. But anyway, arbor size is 5 8 pretty much the same as all circular saws. Max bevels 50 degrees, five-year warranty. Again, on, on these batteries, too, you're getting a three-year warranty. So for three years, I mean, it's like having a little gas can. I mean, you know, we talk about it with the outdoor power stuff. Uh, the chainsaw is like, you know, you got a major power. Yeah, Allegi 1, uh, that's how I started it. Again, I might have been a little off explaining it, but out of all these new corded 15 amp corded tools that are coming out you're going to get that power you know milwaukee saying you're going to have the power um and torque of these 15 amp corded tools uh with every other tool i don't think you're going to notice it really at, at all um obviously with a table saw i mean it's a stationary tool the chainsaw i don't think you're going to see it that much with those huge New angle grinders. I don't think it's. I mean, you can know what you could work it with two hands. With this one, a twelve-pound circular saw. Again, um, I don't know. It, it it's what I'm. It, it's you're gonna have to get used to it, basically. You know, because even the old one was nine pounds, and you might. Oh, it's only three pounds heavier. I mean, you're looking at like a thirty-five percent. You know, when, when you break it down into percentages, you know, 30, 35% heavier than, you know, the one you were working with. And you might think it's not much, but, you know, like I said, 5,800 RPM, cut depth at 92 and a half, cut depth at 45, one and seven eighths. You know, that's what makes these seven and quarter inch. I mean, guys, if you're cutting two by fours, I mean, you can get by with a six and a half, really light tools. Use the saw that makes sense for you. I mean, there's no reason to be using a 12-pound circular saw if you're going through half-inch plywood and, um, you know, two-by-fours. I mean, it's nice to have, but you got to use sometimes the right tool for the right job. Uh, blade size, again, seven and a quarter. Length, 13.75, but beautiful tool. So we got the specs there. And like I said, we'll go through these. Uh, again, the link is below under this video. Uh, you can pre-order it at Acme Tools. Again, um, I really recommend Acme Tools for these combo kits for the one fact of not only free shipping, which Home Depot does too, but no tax. 
Now, if you live in one of those states, there's four or five states where you're going to have to pay tax, then obviously Home Depot might make sense to you. But again, really wait. I mean, I, I know a lot of people are pre-ordering this stuff and they don't really care about saving an extra 50 bucks or 60 bucks. Um, you know, if that's the mind frame you're in, go get it. But it's something that, you know, you really want it, but you don't really need it right now. You know, you plan on getting it, but, you know, just chill a little bit. I'll be here. And to be honest with you, you guys are here to kind of tell me when these deals are going on and we'll post it up, man. See you, Mike. Hey, Mike, thanks for coming in, man. Have a great day. Hey, Ryan Jacob. Cool, man. I appreciate you coming in. Plumber Sal. Yeah. Chris Jones. I, Chris Jones always comes in at the end. Just I'm about to leave. How about those angle grinders, Chris? Which one are you getting? Jay, I'm back to an Acme fan sending me free six amp hour. For, I missed it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You know, listen, out of all these online retailers that are non big box, and again, that just, I'm going to be honest with you here because I really don't care, man. You know, I don't have to please anybody or, you know, do I like the people at Acme Tools the best? You know, they're okay, but their site, honestly, is really great. Their customer service is awesome, and the way that they ship their tools is just phenomenal. Um, you know, I've talked about stuff I've gotten from Depot, and, you know, I don't even want to mention the other brands, but, uh, you know, every time you get it, it's packed. I mean, I, I've gotten stuff where it's actually the box with your with your shipping information right on the Milwaukee box. Uh, it happened with my power station from CPO. I will mention CPL because it happened like three or four times and I haven't used them ever again and I never will use CPL again. I like Nebraska. Yeah, Chris gets screwed. Hey, but you live in Nebraska, man. Oh, Chaka is telling... All right, cool, Chaka. So those six states are North Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, South Dakota, Michigan, and Wisconsin. All right, so there's six states. You got a pretty good chance. I mean, who the hell lives in South Dakota? Or North Dakota. If you live there, you got other issues. You got problems. I'm just kidding, guys. Relax. It's a joke. Come on. I love you people. But obviously, the reason for that is I think there's Acme Tool stores in those states. So, Scott D, my mower won't start. I need a mower so bad, dude. Like, I might even have to run out tonight and buy a lawnmower. So, I got two of them that are down right now. And, uh, you know, I got my big 30-inch Time Master, and I, I just hate using it because it's just so big, and I got to go out the back with it. You know, I can't go out the door. Uh, I was honestly hoping DeWalt would have sent me one by now. That's... There's more than the 6 and 9-inch. Yeah, there's 6 and 9-inch coming out. Luke, I can't wait to get my meat hooks on that stubby. Yeah, man. Candy fruit bar from elementary. Alaska is where the crazies are. Yeah, man, I got to. And you know what? After going to Wisconsin, it's a, Milwaukee is such a great. I recommend you guys. I mean, obviously, you're watching this channel because you're into tools, man. Listen, take a trip, man, to Milwaukee. There's so much to offer there. There's great food. Uh, there's tours. You can go check out the Milwaukee. I mean, if you're really into tools and you're a Milwaukee guy, I think you'd have such a good time up there. You know, this is a Harley Davidson tour. There's really a lot of stuff you can catch. I mean, the ball field, the uh, Miller Park where the Brewers play. Chris Jones needs a mo. I know a lot of people were hoping that Milwaukee came out with one. I just thought it was way too quick for them to get into it. You gotta remember, DeWalt has been in the game six, seven years. Milwaukee's been in it for two years. This is their second year to come out with a mower. I just didn't think that they're ready for it. I'm hearing bad things about the DeWalt mower, to be honest with you. Now, is the actual, I've heard great things about the actual mower, uh, especially the, the uh, 20 volt saying, wow, it's it's built really well. 
and it cuts really awesome. I'm hearing the runtime is like 15 minutes uh, with the five amp hour battery. Um, with the six amp hour flex full, I'm hearing around 20 minutes. Um, obviously you really need to get those new 12 amp hour batteries in there. I mean, again, for a lot of us, we have a lot of batteries, especially the wall. So I think, you know, you have to, when you come out with a 20 volt mower, you really have to do one or the other. Either you're going to have crappy power, a good run time or good power and crappy, or you know what I'm saying? Either you're going to have crappy power, good run time, or bad run time and good power, right? Yeah, right. What might they darn right? But so they decided, and I would have gone the same way. I'd rather have more power than run time because you could always get more batteries. And let's, let's face it. If you're in DeWalt's platform, you probably have 20 batteries. <laughs> I'm hoping Milwaukee sends me the new drill for my issues. Hey, if anyone's going to do it, man, Milwaukee will do it. I just got the ego. Oh, you did, Jay? Did you just get it a couple days ago? They had a deal, right? At Home Depot, $3.99 for the 7.5. Should he gas clogging up the car? Milwaukee building the new bucks. Yep, they are. Milwaukee building the new bucks. Should be up next year. Yes, it is. Jamar 70s. Are you from the area? Wow, there's 57 of you guys watching this. That's a, I mean, I'm shocked. I mean, not that it's a lot, but I mean, this, I'm not happy with the way this came out today, but I think we got everything. But I would like to have you guys up here. But anyway, let me get out of here. The link's below, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, you know, the one thing that Tools in Action said to me, um, uh, Dan, I don't know why I say Tools and Dan from Tools in Action, that really, um, touched me it really made me um proud and he said man you got a loyal following man and um he's like man they they'll you know and uh that meant so much to me that you guys are on here spending some time with me whenever i'm on your your you know loyalty means very much to me and um might not to a lot of people as you know everybody has their kind of thing uh you know integrity and character but i i really do appreciate all you guys um coming on i mean you got a lot of you guys been on here for years man months to years you know i see chris jones and obviously ejm and 94 gt ryan jacob and federer scott d uh jay is always coming on here now and I know there's a lot of you guys that are watching that you're kind of just chilling in the background. But, I mean, all you guys, I, I really appreciate it that uh, you're, uh, I enjoy your, your companionship, your loyalty, and your faith. Your faith in toolballs. Oh, yeah. But seriously, guys, thanks a lot. I really do appreciate it. But like I said, we're going to have these videos. Uh, you know, there'll be videos popping up with this NP, with this new Milwaukee stuff. We still got a lot of other stuff from DeWalt we got to do and, and Makita, especially the subcompact stuff, which I, I really, really like. And again, you know, that's that's something. And I know, I, I, you know, with all this 12 amp hour battery stuff, you know, now we're getting into some heavy, really corded like power stuff. This is where Makita is smart with this subcompact stuff. I would not be surprised that if Milwaukee, you know, they kind of... Now, if you don't know, uh, I should mention this, guys, and I'm going to mention it real quick. I hope you guys are still on here because it's really important. The Gen 1 Fuel Circular Saw that's out now. I have it. I'm sure a lot of you guys have it. The Fuel Circular Saw. When this saw comes out here, this Gen 2... You're not going to be able to get that saw anymore. They're actually taking it off the market. They are replacing it with a non-fuel brushless seven and a quarter inch saw. Okay, a little bit lighter than the present model. Um, you know, it's a brushless motor, of course, but it's not the Power State Red Link. But 
you're going to get pretty much the same spec wise, a little bit lighter. Um, I was very shocked. That was the one thing that really shocked me. Um, you know, we all know about the impact driver and the hammer drill that's been out for probably two or three years, the brushless. They haven't really added anything to that platform since those two tools came out. So the fact that, that they are taking the Gen 1 totally off the market and putting in a non-fuel brushless, I think it's smart, but I also think that they kind of know they're coming out with these really heavy-duty tools. And, you know, again, being at 12 pounds here, um, I still think that they, you know, again, someone made the point, this is really not a homeowner's circular saw. This is for the professional. This is for the contractor, the carpenter, um, you know, home builders, all that stuff. So, but they still want you to have their circular saw, honestly. So they kind of want to separate the fuel, their top grade, you know, Red Link Plus Power State motor, heavy duty, 12 amp hour battery. You, a homeowner does not need a saw like this. So they're kind of shrinking it down, making it, you know, more affordable. It's only going to be $179 for the saw. This is $399, so it's half the price. Um, but, you know, that's where that subcompact stuff makes sense. I mean, you know, a lot of trades use circular saws, not just carpenters and contractors. Um, but a lot of them don't need a saw like this. You know, this is a major heavy-duty grade circular saw. Um, so, exactly. Great, great, you know. And we all know about Milwaukee's 12-volt circular saw. It's 5 and 3 eighths. I mean... It's a that's a great saw. So, yep, use the Gen One at work. The well, it matters what you're using it for, Chris. Obviously, the Gen One is not you know, it's not a corded uh, circular saw, and a lot of people are used to them, and a lot of people still use them. <laughs> It will be replaced by a brushless unit, right? 94. Skyrocket little by little. Starlight, thanks. Oh, thank you, Starlight. Yeah, enjoy your day, too, Demon's Wifey. One of the best. To uh, I appreciate that, Shaka. And thanks, Jamar77. I've been seeing you. Yeah, come on in. Yep, Luke, JR Rustic got a pick. Yep, real cool dude. Yep, <laughs> yeah, I did, man. Dragon Sage 2008. This, the DNs are the walk kits that come with ratchets. And and oh, as I answered that. I, I answered that question. Um, they come with impact sockets. I have to really check that out. Um, I I didn't know that. I don't think that is the norm though. Dragon Sage. Um, I know the. I do have a video of the new ratchets. <clears throat> and sockets the quarter inch three eighths and half inch ratchet sets um they come with sockets obviously and, and they're not impact sockets i can tell you that uh if they do in the future i i don't know the wall is really like again the wall if, the, if there's one company that is gonna you know the wall makes a lot of those types of they have so many different like sockets and ratchets and mechanics tool sets you know milwaukee's kind of just starting to get into that so i wouldn't say that it's never going to happen but the wall is way ahead of milwaukee when it comes to you know hand tools and stuff what two by fours really i've never had an issue with two by fours with the uh fuel no i don't have a problem with my porter cable with two by fours Tool guy, Ty, yo, 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 man, you always come in late, too. All right, let me get out of here, though. Hey, Ruben, hey, man, I missed you, man, but I really want you to watch towards the end of this video, Ruben, because you're one of those guys, too. And tool guy, Ty, of course. Really appreciate you guys. Nah, we just went over the new Gen 2 seven and a quarter inch circular saw. So if anyone's interested, the link's below. Um, again, I want to come out with some new T-shirts. 
for this summer. Um, a lot of you guys want trucker hats. I kind of got a guy working on that. I really just need to get rid of another five shirts, and then, you know, I'm pretty much down, and I, I can just – I'll give them out. But uh, so I, I do want to get some new shirts, some some hats, maybe some hoodies for the winter and come up with something new. But, yeah, I do have some shirts available. Um, just hit me up, either on Instagram. I mean, you can go to my website, and we'll find you one. But if you want to know a certain size, because I think I'm out of certain sizes now. <clears throat> But all right. Anyway, guys. Yeah, no, it's cool. Yeah, Chris. No, this. I mean, for you again. You know, I was thinking about you with the new hammer drill. I mentioned you in the video, Chris. Again, I don't even know who the hell you are. But Chris has been on this show or on my channel since. I'm telling you, I think the first month I started. Probably my oldest viewer. But um, yeah. Th I know he. You know, I knew you would like the new angle grinders. I mentioned you in there. And this is another thing. I don't know what's going on with Nebraska Wood, but for you, you need power. You need corded. Uh, like, I don't know what you're chopping up there, but um, <laughs> I agree. Shaka, snap on hard. I must have missed that one. Where's Shaka? My manual mechanic, I don't use Malky. Can't be snap on for that stuff. Yeah. I mean, you know, you get what you pay for, man. You know, snap on is great stuff, but you're going to pay for it. And if you don't mind paying for it, you're going to be happy. <laughs> but you got to have the money. I'm going to get out my baby powder. Uh, cupcake. Federer fights girls. I don't know, man. He might. He's down there in Atlanta there. A little, little, little shady down there. Oh, yeah. Tool Guy Ty wants black shirts. It's real hard with my logo, bro. I I tried. I wish I had someone 